We're gonna be putting 11 different Heartstopper ships into these rankings. Let's see if you agree with us. You might think our opinions are wrong. You'd be wrong, because we're always right, but you can let us know. <laughs> you can scream in the comments all you want. I'm not gonna change my ranking. Hello, and welcome back to the gay side of the internet. And another 12 Gays of Christmas Yay! video! I'm joined with the beautiful Galpin. And we are ranking Heartstopper ships today. Mm -hmm. Got them all here ready to go. The on goodies, my computer. the goodies, and the baddies. If you aren't familiar, I make videos every second day in December, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when the next one is up. Now, we have made a very important tier ranking system for this video. As yes. you know, we're fans of making our own tiers and we always deliver, so here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Top tier is Protec. We must protect this ship at all costs. Yes. These are the ones you just you just wanna <laughs> just wanna squish them. Uh, yeah. Squish them and maybe uh, eat them a little bit. <laughs> just <laughs> protect little. tier. Next tier down is the wholesome tier. Chips you just love, they're just sweet. They're maybe not the piece de resistance, but they are beautiful. <laughs> Middle tier is Good, but dot dot dot. Maybe have some notes. I don't know. Yeah, there might be some reason. Fourth tier down. I just don't like it. And that's fair. That's allowed. Yep, you're allowed. And the bottom tier <laughs> is this ship has sailed. Long gone. <laughs> Get out of the country, wherever it is. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Shit tier. Big no. Big nope. Ship numero uno. Ship number one. Who is are we going with? Ben and Imogen. So bad boy Ben and. Blissfully naive Imogen. Ben and Imogen get together in season two of Heartstopper. We get the impression that Ben's just trying to look cool and cover up, but Imogen's actually maybe falling for him. Yes. Until we get to Paris where she absolutely smacks his ass and breaks up with him in <laughs> spectacular fashion. Yes. I don't know why you're obsessed with Charlie. All I know is you're a terrible boyfriend and I deserve better. I'm breaking up with you. Clearly you have some issues that you need to resolve before you're ready to be in a relationship. And I'm not gonna wait around for you. Yes, you don't girl. want to be with me anymore. That's fine. You don't have to be such a bitch about it. There's no need to call her a bitch. He's like yes. the villain. Yes! <laughs> and he's like, there's no need for that. I love that. <laughs> yeah, the guy who's Harry is the usual dickhead. He's like, mate, you don't need to call her a bitch. <laughs> His redemption arc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben and Imogen. Well, obviously he's a dickhead and she's not. I don't mind her character, but I don't love her character. And some yeah. people might really like her, but I'm like, <laughs> so I didn't care too much about the ship happening. But in the tier system, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? I'm thinking it's in a, I just don't like I just it. Just don't like it. I don't think it's necessarily the total bottom absolute crap. I think it's an, I just don't like it. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I'm going to put it in that tier. I just okay. don't like it. It's not like the worst ship ever. Like mm. there could be potential if he was a better person. Yeah. She's all with, you know, being a queer ally. So if he was like, babe, I'm bisexual, she'd probably be all for that. Yeah. Ship number two is Ben again and Charlie. Ben and Charlie? You know where this ship is going. We all know where this but ship is going. But why do we going. hate it so much? Why do we hate it? Because Ben is an asshole. Ben and Charlie are together, together. At the beginning of season one of Heartstopper, but it's all hush hush because Ben is in the closet and doesn't want anybody to know that he even knows who Charlie is, let alone that they're making out of yeah, the Yeah, and besides that, he's a little controlling in the situation. Ooh, yeah. We'll never meet up when you want to, where you want to, when you feel like kissing a boy. Well, it's not like anyone else is going to want to go out with you, is it? He was just desperate to find mm -hmm. back. Charlie, look, I like you, but I'm figuring stuff out. Literally, what more do you want from me? Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> nobody would put this in any other tier except for what this ship has sailed. Yeah. It's got to go in there. And it's not just that the ship literally sailed, they were separated, but like, that's not how you treat someone you care about. Ever. Don't do no. it. And if someone is treating you like that. You put your image and hat on and you tell them what's what in front of a whole restaurant full of Parisian people and you kick their butt to the curb. <laughs> Specifically, that situation only. That's the only place you can no. go. You deserve better than a ship that has sailed. Okay, what's our next one? I think one of my favorites, but maybe not yours. Oh, okay. I think I know what it is. Tau and L. Okay. Was that right? Yeah. <gasps> So Tao and Elle are best friends, part of the friendship group with Charlie through season one. And we get the idea through season one that they maybe like each other a little bit, but yes. it's not till season two that they get together. And even then it's very, they're both not sure what they want. Yeah. And they're both worried that the other person doesn't like them back and they don't want to ruin the friendship. 
What's happening right now? I like you. Romantically. You look really nice, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Things were better when we were just friends. Right. Yeah. Our friendship is really important to me. Me too. Okay. <laughs> I think part of me relates to this, and this is why I'm projecting my own, like, I don't, I'm not putting this in the protect tier. I know you're gonna want to do that. I know heaps of people are, and they honestly do deserve to be in the protect tier. But I'm gonna put it in wholesome because, yes, it is cute, but I think they're both just at different periods of their life, wanting different things, I, w I personally, in that situation, would just stay friends. And I feel that a bit with this particular ship too, just the way they end off season two, where like Elle's going to the new art school and is like discovering herself yeah. and her passions. I agree with you on that part. Maybe it's like, it's not like she should just kick town to the curb, but there's something different in like it being a relationship as opposed to their friendship. Yeah, will she feel, will she feel held back by that? It adds so much complexity. And I'm just like, I've been there, I've done that. And uh, avoid. Don't do yeah. it. But I do love them together. I think they're very sweet. I loved the episode where they have the terrible, awkward date where Tao's just trying to be like anyone other than himself. And when they finally figure out that that's why it was shit. And he's like, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I think, I think I'm going to agree with you. I think oh. it goes in wholesome. It's like halfway into protect for me. Halfway there. Everybody can't be perfect, so... Mm. I forgive them. Yeah. No relationship is 100% perfect. Ours isn't, theirs isn't, yours won't be. Don't believe for one okay. second that we're... That we don't love each other so much. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to put Tal and L in wholesome. wholesome. Cutie patooties. I love that photo of them. It is very that cute. That photo is wholesome. Oh, this one was really cute. And this one doesn't actually exist in the Heartstopper comics because... One of these characters doesn't exist in the Heartstopper comics. Which is that? Isaac and James. So oh, in the Heartstopper okay. comics, Isaac isn't a character. He's like a replacement character in the show for a character who was called Aled, I think. I've not read the comics myself. Beautiful, beautiful, book-loving Isaac. Cute little Isaac. Aww. So the little flirtation relationshipiness between Isaac and James in season two. Yes. But this is more fun. Oh, have you read this one? Of course I've read that one. Hey, did you want a drink? If you don't, that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> We're running. <laughs> it's nice that we get a chance to hang out outside the library for once. Yeah, not hanging out with your friends. No. Uh, I do have a question on someone else though. <laughs> this part. But was it bad or... I've just never kissed anyone before, so... <laughs> Oh man. And then they, they talk about it. Like, so I'm guessing you don't feel the same about me then. You probably just haven't found the right person yet. Yeah, I remember watching this scene and we were like, oh. I'm pretty sure I know what tier I'm putting this in. Yeah, I think I do too. What tier is it? On three. One, two, three. It's, it's good, good, but. Because <laughs> it's really sweet. And it James is. obviously has like the fattest crush on Isaac. And we see them through the series, like, get along and really talk about stuff. Obviously share the same interests and passions. And that's really nice. Like, they have this sort of really yeah. wholesome friendship build up. It's... But if Isaac isn't... Isaac is... Doesn't ace... feel that way. Isaac like... is asexual. Yeah, so, so I wouldn't want to ship people who aren't supposed to be together, you know? Yeah. Unless they figure it out next season and they're happy to do whatever maybe, Isaac's level of... Yeah, maybe Isaac is, but... is asexual, but he's not aromantic. Who knows? But still, for their sake, that's the tier I'd like to put in. Yeah, agreed. It's cute. Mm -hmm. It's very shippable. It's good, but... It's good, but... What's our next ship? The next one, I already know where I'm putting this. It's also Isaac, but it's Isaac <laughs> and books. <laughs> Because, as everybody knows, all the book talkers and book instagrammers and all whatever. All the aces, probably. And every ace yeah. person under the sun knows that Isaac doesn't pretty much go anywhere in the series without holding a book in his hand. I don't remember in the first season if he did that or not. But it yeah. was very, you could very, you saw a lot of it in the second season. Yeah, and this particular scene. They go to the bookshop in Paris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's me at a bookshop. It's you in the book video where I tell you to only have so many books. So Isaac loves his books. I think it's a beautiful, wholesome relationship. I wholeheartedly ship it. I put it in protect. Me too! <laughs> I want to protect that! It's so cute! Yeah. Like, I just, you know, you want to just bubble wrap you and stay the way you are. Yep. Put him in protect. Protect. Cute. Jeez, we have one in every tier now. Wow, that was unintentional. <laughs>
Would you like to introduce the next one? Yeah, you're oh, going to be just... better. Than... <laughs> I can say the names. So I'm introducing all of these because Lauren can't remember them. <laughs> I have a terrible, I have a terrible movie memory. Like I'll watch something and then it kind of just filters out. These clips and stuff is helping me remember. But our next ship is Imogen and Nick, which sort of happens in season one of Heartstopper. So we've got beautiful, blissful Imogen again and <laughs> handsome golden retriever Nick. <laughs> Trailer. Literally, literally. Yeah. Something's different. Ah. I've known you since like year seven. I can tell when something's changed. Don't worry, I'm a highly qualified hairstylist. They've been friends for ages too. But maybe we could like go out, guess sort of a date. He says yes. Ah, uh, I don't think I particularly cared when I watched it about them. And no. obviously we weren't supposed to because he was supposed to be with Charlie. I like their friendship especially becomes more like reconnect as friends in season two a bit like with the Paris trip and stuff with the group all coming together I think that's quite cute actually yeah Imogen's always really supportive of him like when she finds out about Charlie she's like Woo. She's a good egg she is a good egg slightly odd she's a great egg she's a good egg and I think for me for that reason I would put it in is good but not the best. It's not that I don't like it. I think they would be perfectly fine as a couple, sure. In some other situation, In some yeah. other situation, sure. And they're both nice people and they're nice to each other. There's nothing particularly wrong about it. Yes. Except that he couldn't say Except no. that he's clearly <laughs> in love with someone else. <laughs> yeah. So I agree with you. I would put it in is good, but... Yeah. But... But... For their own sake. Yeah. Yeah. Number seven is another Imogen ship. There are quite a lot of Imogen ships in Heartstopper, just, just so everybody knows. She's just flitting around. ship with everyone. She really is. <laughs> this one is one that only got hinted at at the very end of the second season, and it is Imogen and Sahar. Yes, they had dated in the past. They like, were friends as kids. But they liked each other. What was it? No, they, they were friends for a long time, and then there's like a comment in a Truth or Dare circle that Imogen got a boyfriend and then stopped talking to Sahar, so their friendship's kind of fallen apart. Yeah. And then they become friends again through season two. And then right at the end, she watches Sahar play the guitar. And she likes it! And she's like, what do we but, do with these feelings? Yeah, I remember that, because she's as far as up until then, straight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't take French, but I know that's wrong. All right. I don't take French either. Taylor V. Imogen got a boyfriend last year and then stopped texting me. Oh, that's what happened. Uh, no, you stopped texting me. You guys can't tease me about being the token ally anymore now that Sahar's here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm bisexual. <laughs> She plays the guitar. Suddenly I am so attracted to her. Pretty much. I relate. No. <laughs> Every lesbian ever. <sighs> Where's that go for you? It's so... Because I, I, I think... use ship lightly because obviously it's... I mean, no, no, but people ship them. Yes. They would ship them and people it's designed them. to be shipped. I don't think they're enemies, but it's like enemies to maybe lovers. We will see next season if they dapple in each other. you got to have a good one that you want to like, just get together! Damn yeah. it! Part of me loves and part of me is like, uh, at the if they do get together then like, everyone is gay. Yeah, <laughs> like, all of the characters are queer. Because she at the moment is like the only one who isn't. But I also kind of like that. And I also think it's kind of true for kids of that age nowadays. Like, we can all be whoever we want. We're all experimenting. That's what you do at that age. Yeah. You figure it out. Where are you putting it? I might actually put this one in Wholesome. It's kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put it in awesome. I also feel like they're quite each other's foil. Like Sahar's pretty deadpan and Imogen's so like, oh, oh that's true. They're very like opposite of each other. And so I think they Opposite to track. Yeah. Sometimes. I know you've been waiting for it. Okay, let's do it. Okay. No. <laughs> the ship you have been waiting for is, of course, <laughs> Nick and Charlie. Oh, I wonder what tier they're going to go in. Who? could possibly tell. Look at this comic of them kissing. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah. Do we even need to watch this? Oh, let me Classic. We should go on a date, just us. It's all right if you don't want to. Actually, no, sorry, that was chief. We should. I'd like that. My life is way better because I met you. The cutest of cutes. 
Do I need a comment on this? We're just going to put it in protect and you're just going to have to deal with the fact that it's in there. And I will fight you if you disagree. No one's going to disagree. We don't have to worry about that. They go and protect. They're obviously. a blessing. They're an absolute blessing. <laughs> I love them both. Yep. No notes. Nick is just like, just love him. He's so good. Do you love him more? Than yeah. Charlie? yeah. I like Charlie more. Oh, I like Nick more. I think Nick's very like, look after Charlie, oh God, stands is... up for himself and his friends, is just the most wholesome, sweet individual. Charlie occasionally is like bratty teenager, whereas I never really get that from Nick. I think it's just because I relate to him more. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why I pick him. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Nick Nelson is the sweetest boy <laughs> this world has ever seen, and I will hear nothing to the otherwise. <laughs> Speaking of sweet, actually. What else is sweet, Lauren? I have new merch. Wow. Sort of, kind of. An edition. A limited edition. Uh, I'm wearing it right now, actually. In Sappho We Trust. It Long has... sleeve, rainbow, black tee top shirt. With some writing on the arm as well. Yes, which actually, is for you guys. one of the fragments of poems that we have from Sappho. You read it. You're a good reader. Sweet mother, I cannot weave. Slender Aphrodite has overcome me with longing for a girl. Oh, gay. 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 I wanted to make something special for the 12 Gays of Christmas. So if you want to get this, it is only available during December. After that, it is gone. Gone forever. Not coming back. That's it. The ship has sailed. It's gone. It's out. <laughs> so if you want one, check out the link below. Also use the code 12 Gays for 10% off during December. Support the channel, support the series. Thank you so much, Inverse. Mm -hmm. Continuing on. Let's continue. Our next ship is a teeny, teeny, tiny one. You probably don't even remember this one. It is <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Coach Singh and her wife. And her who wife. doesn't have a name, sorry. But I'll show you this because it's all in this one little scene. She's just found Nick and Charlie making out in the locker room. This term, I've sent some distance has grown between you and most of the lads. If any of the lads say anything out of line, you tell me immediately, all right? Not what you expected her to say. When I was at uni, things were pretty bad. Lots of lesbians in women's rugby. That's how I met my wife. I remember what it was like. I love that little scene. Yeah, because you don't expect her... Like, if you're a kid and you're in trouble, you do not expect a teacher to, to tell you that. But she knew in that moment that it would be beneficial for him to know that. Yeah. And also the way she, like, goes on so openly about, like, yeah, not many lesbians in women's rugby. That's where I met my wife. And he's like... Huh? <laughs> anyway... I don't, don't know much about this ship, so no. I can only base it off her half. And she's lovely, so I would probably put it in wholesome. I'm going to put it in wholesome. Yeah. It's cute. <laughs> wholesome it is. Wholesome it is for Coach Singh and Unnamed Wife. Picture frame is her name. <laughs> A second last ship. Second is. last. I wonder if we'll have different opinions about this one. This ship is Tara and Darcy. Yes. The lesbians of the show. Well, they obviously started off really cute. Yes. We love them. They're super cute. I loved having some lesbians in the show. Yes. And then in the second season, things got a little bit rough for them. Mm. But one of them loves the other and has said it, but the other one is not ready to say, I love you back. Yes. And, and part of that tension. is because Darcy is the more like obviously open lesbian presenting character. Yeah. And we learn through this season that despite that, she's actually not out at home or to any of her family, which is kind of different from Tara's story. Tara comes out in season one, but has a okay like reception overall. And I think her family knows too. And she doesn't know that Darcy hasn't told her family. But I still like this ship despite that. I don't actually know where I... Would I put this... I'm tossing up between putting in wholesome and is good but. Because love lesbians, yes. Mm. Part of me didn't like a few of the things with their relationship where sometimes they seem to only talk surface level. Or Tara wants to talk more deeply but it takes a long time for Darcy to get there. Things like Darcy running off and avoiding like the prom and stuff and just not yeah. telling Tara where she is at all. I understand she was going through a lot of shit and that's hard. But in terms of like a relationship thing, that's also hard on your partner. Obviously they're kids so you have take to that with a grain of salt. some behaviour for young people not having... So, Wise decisions. Question for you. Okay. So if this is going to continue into another season, do you think they would stay together? Or do you think for their characters, they would be better off being apart? I think they would benefit from time apart to determine how they really feel about each other. I do think they're cute together. And the fact that they have now talked about some of those issues at the end of season two, I think sets them up better for going into season three. Darcy did come out with the truth of why she's been acting and feeling the way she was feeling. And she did say, I love you. I'm not even out to my own parents. I don't think I ever will be. You, you've only ever seen half of my life. And now I've seen the other half. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you! I love you. 
<laughs> All right. I <laughs> think I'm going to put it in wholesome. I, I was just thinking that too. They worked through all the concerns that I had in season two. That would have put it in is good butt and they yep. bumped it back up to wholesome. Yep. I'm glad we watched that. Otherwise, we could have done something really bad and people would have been people really been angry at us. At us. Yeah. Whew. Oh, right. Dodge that bullet. <laughs> Guess what? It's the very last ship. And this one it has a special place Ooh. in my heart. This ship is known as... The teachers. The teachers. And it is Mr. Ajayi and Mr. Farouk, who are the cutest. Oh, God. How do I feel about this one? Obviously, Mr. Farouk is weird. He's a weird character. Very odd. And then the other teacher is just so very gay. And chill. (laughs) Chill gay art teacher. Do you want to watch some stuff? Yeah. Didn't something happen where he hasn't really Mm. done anything? Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember. Sorry. And I related to him because he's like, I didn't get to do anything in high school. And I'm like, yeah, me too, fam. I need a drink. An alcoholic drink. We probably shouldn't drink alcohol. I need a croissant then. (laughs) Then I'll need a croissant. Come on. Okay, let's go and get a croissant together. (laughs) This part. Oh, and you... Don't figure out your gay into your late twenties. Tend to miss out on those beautiful gay teenage experiences. Yeah. It's everyone's heart broke when they learned. Yeah. Don't think there's an age limit on those, to be honest. <laughs> he suggests that you can they can share a bed. And then he's like, That's a stupid idea, and he walks off and he's like, I don't think it's stupid. So gentle. Oh. Bless their cotton socks. Yes, yeah, so I'm putting this straight in the protective. Yes, same! Yay! I want to see how it develops. I think it's so sweet. Like you said, it, it speaks to a lot of people who are like Mr. Farouk and maybe didn't figure out the sexuality or didn't have the space to be able to be out and open and exploring until they were in their mid yeah. to late 20s and feel like they've missed something. And I think Mr. Ajayi is really good at like supporting that feeling and not invalidating it. They're just, just cute. And also, again, very like sunshine, grumpy clouds relationship. Yeah. <laughs> they're just, they just meet in a nice yeah, middle. Yeah, it's like you see him soften, Mr. Frook soften a little bit at the end, mm. which is nice because his whole exterior is very much like a... And that could be covering up his insecurity of yeah. not figuring himself out sooner. And I like that. I think I relate a little bit to it. Yeah. yeah, Like the character arc from us meeting him in the beginning of the season where he's like, sit in your exam. And then at the end when he's like, I just loved it. It was so sweet. So definitely adding that to Straight to Protec. I'm glad we agree on that one. We agreed on all of them, actually. Yeah, we did. Crazy. Hey, (laughs) good job. So to go over in our ultimate Protec, Isaac and his books. Yes. Nick and Charlie. Of course. And the teachers. And in our very last tier is Charlie and Ben. So, Thanks for coming along for the ride. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, you can grab some merch using the link below. 10% mm-hmm. off with 12 Gays. This is only until the end of December. So Don't miss out. So if you grab one, support the series. Would appreciate Get it. Get so yourself much. a nice little Christmas present. Get someone you're in a ship with a nice little Christmas present. Get Rush. two people you mm-hmm. ship you could together. Be matching. Like matching. <laughs> matching. See? Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you guys in two days in the next video. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I have a really important Whoa. question. Where do you rank our ship? Oh, please rank us. Don't forget to check out this video where we ranked some other things. I can't remember what it is right now, but it was gay. And Mm. you will enjoy it if you enjoy this. (laughs) See you next time.